Hi guys, this is Stan and I'm back with another reaction video. So PlayStation State of Play has released the story trailer of God of War Ragnarok. We got a small peek at the game a few months ago and now we get to see what story they have in store for us. And I can't wait. So without further ado, let's watch it. Let's go. Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones voice, you love. Voice, voice change so much. Ooh, that axe. I know you. They got his God hair. Killer. Oh, I think no. I think it's the chain or the rope. What is it right? you want from me? Is it a god of war you came to find? You don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? Is that Deer's voice? I didn't expect All that it to be that blood way. On your hands. On your son's hands. What is it you will not tell me? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. His voice is still jarring. Matters is that you are safe. Oh, is that the that's not all that matters. Arrowhead? Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? Oh, that's ominous. Pretender God! Valkyries! Are they all gone? Death can have me when it burns me. That's a badass line. Them. What do you even know of God's word? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Full truth from here. Ever prayed to you? All right. Can you even imagine that kind of love? No. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You got the action scene. This is what I love about God of War. So action back. Wow, that's a cool shot. Fate only binds you if you let it. Are those Skull and Hattie? Is necessary. Not because nice. it is written. No! Summer time. We will make our own destiny. Wow, it's time to fight Thor. Love it. Alright, so we got a lot of things to talk about here. First, it feels like Atreus is seeing a future that he can talk about with anyone and it also feels like he's calling the shots this time and Kratos just follows his decisions. Then, um, we have Tyr. His voice is not that deep kind that I've expected but it does track. Um, his voice kind of sounds a bit like Ragnar in Vikings, but anyway, I miss Ragnar. Then we also get a glimpse of Freya looking at the missile to arrowhead that broke Baldur's invulnerability spell. The doubts that Atreus plans on his exchange here is very ominous. Sort of uh, gives validity to the creator's will die theory, but maybe he's trying to prevent it. Oh no. And then we also get to see a fight between Kratos and two Valkyries and I really love seeing Valkyries. The fight with the Valkyries in the previous game were some of the hardest fights I've ever done. Then there's Freya, the queen of the Valkyries that wants to kill us and it's really scary. Kratos also gives one of the badass lines ever made, death can have me when it earns me. Ooh, chills. And there are a ton of new enemies and it seems I'm hoping we get to visit all the 9 realms. The last game had a few of them but with all the realms ending, it seems fitting that we get to visit them all I think. And Tyr also tells Kratos that he doesn't know how it feels to be worshipped and loved. 
Um, excuse me, Kratos was worshipped by the Spartans as the Greek god of war. So I'm pretty sure he has some idea what it feels like. Now, this right here is the money shot. The eclipse. That's a beautiful shot. It's like a poster shot. Then Atreus shoots an arrow. Then one of them runs after chasing the sun down. Changing the sky from eclipse to night. Whoever thought of that is a genius. Now, the myth says if Skull and Hattie catch up to the sun and moon, then Ragnarok begins. So this means... Kratos and Atreus is really the one starting it. The last but not least is Kratos versus Thor. Of course, that saved the best for last. And they've teased us with that fight from the first game and hearing all of uh, Mimir's stories about how brutal and um, strong Thor is. Really freaked me out when he showed up at the end of the game. Even if it's just a tease. So this very... Um, effective storytelling so now uh, we got the axe and the hammer crashing together with the thunder cracking in the background it's just great and I really can't wait for this game now the new God of War story trailer what did you guys think comment down below and let me know all right so there you go that's my reaction so if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and if you're new don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one bye